Hey, this is Sean Stahl with RT Calls, and we're going over Short Read 101. We've already learned how to properly master and operate these uh, Short Read Goose Calls over four steps now. And now we're going to talk about field strategies, calling birds in the field, and what I like to call straight lining geese. The more you hunt, the more you're out in the field, the more you learn the, the right sounds to make. Uh, you know, you go to the park, you listen, you hunt, you pay attention, you videotape these hunts and you see how birds react in different scenarios and every day can present a new situation. So the more of these tools that you have to fall back on and you, you know, from past on experiences, you can go, okay, they're doing this, I need to do this. If then, it's always an if then, but if scenario. If they're doing this, then do that. Uh, it, but if they're not, then try this. So I call it straight line in Canada geese and the, the theory behind that is, is you wanna get geese if they're not already coming at you, to turn and come at you. And you want them to be on as straight a line as possible. You don't want them to circle the spread. The more times they have the circle the spread, the more times they have to find out where the boogeyman's hiding. You wanna to try to finish a can of the goose on the first pass. So I call that straight lining geese. So if I see geese off in the distance and they're not coming to my area, I may be, get a little more aggressive. You wait till they're just downwind, get, pick up that pitch cadence and tempo. <laughs> Get them, get their attention, hit the flag, make them turn your way. Once they turn your way, keep on that pitch cadence and tempo. You want them to stay on that straight line, right? Until they start veering one way or the other. If they start turning away from you, pick up your speed and tempo a little bit. So it's, they're coming at you. They start to push off to the side, pick it up. Then when they get back in line, drop back down a little bit. If, if they're coming at you, doing what you want them to do, then it's just slow talk. <laughs> they start veering off. and get them to lay down right in front of you, right where you set the decoys out, right where everybody can pop up and, and get good shots at them. So I call this straight lining geese. It's just manipulating your pitch, cadence, and tempo to get them to stay on that straight line coming into your decoys and not circle. And you also have to keep in mind, the bigger the geese, the more runway they need. So you have to make sure that you get on them and then let off them in enough time for them to fall into your spread. Because if you stay on them too hard or let off, you know, stay on them too hard with a the call, they may overshoot you. If you let off them too much, they may land short of you. So it's just a, something that you learn from experience. It's trial and error and nothing works every day in every scenario. But I promise you, if you pay attention to these steps, you're gonna be more productive in the field.